Hey you guys, how's things going? Well, I finished them. I finished the minis. Man, <laughs> I know everybody says that like that was fast, but sometimes it seems like forever. <laughs> um, yeah, so I really, I really had fun doing the charms on these. Um, I did wind up doing the little, um, you know, specimen, little round specimen thing. And then added one of these little guys where I did some stenciling and whatnot. Uh, added just a little button on the bottom of the specimen, a little um, like mother of pearl or glass button. They're all white, uh, really old buttons. And then added a couple of those little teeny bells little tiny bell so you get a little bit of a little bit of sound um and then a little bead and a heart and a little heart charm each one got a little heart and then i did put these on a clasp so you can uh so you could take this off if you want to you could put it on something else or whatever if you if you wanted to um and it makes it easier if you also would like to add something to it you can take it off and and just then clip it back on so and then each one's got the little um little color slide frame and with a little bit of collage inside and then you guys watched me well maybe some of you didn't but um I'll, these are all made with cereal boxes out of repurposed cereal boxes okay uh there's some stitching around the edges i did go with the elastic closure um, just because I like the way it looked and, um, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't been doing that lately and I really like it. Plus I had a bunch of elastic, uh, cause I ordered elastic for making masks. So I'm going to use that. Um, and if anybody is curious, I did get this on Amazon. Uh, I think this is going to last me a long time and it's much cheaper and it's a better elastic, I think, than the ones that I've been getting at joann's that they're always out of so anyway so yeah so i wound up with 21 of these little minis and of course each one has its own personality and you know its own character and whatnot um all of the little specimen slides are going to have something different in them some of them have a little flower some have a little seed or, you know, something like that. And then I just did my little scribbly writing on them with some numbers and whatnot. Um, so, yeah, so the these little charms are actually scraps from the covers when I made the covers. Um, those, so those are little scraps that I punched out. I just, you know, tried to use as much of those as I could. I do have a couple pieces left that I'll probably use for some other stuff, but um, let me make sure the autofocus is not turned on so you guys can actually see. So then we've got the pocket on the inside that we did um, work on together in the videos. Um, and then I added some stuff maybe you guys haven't seen. Some little um, cigarette cards. that I, These are printed. And then um, did some stitching on those, added a little tab just some scraps from some uh, like ledger pages and some other little like botanical type of uh, papers. Um, this one is backed with a ledger paper. Um, and then this is the little tags that I made out of the, some of the scraps from the, um, from the covers, from the cereal boxes, and then some of the collage that we did together as a little pocket. Um, this is on, of course, ledger paper and just little, little tickets and tags and things like that. I added these little, these little, um, craft pockets and just all old vintage paper. And I really focus on, you know, texture and, um, <clears throat> variety in, in my junk journal. So, this is a paper, this is a page from one of the really, really old Sowerby um, English botany books that I purchased on eBay. And um, yeah, some craft paper, 
is from an old math book and just some flower pages. There's a little envelope in the center of one of the signatures. This is from a little, uh, from a checkbook from 1941. Um, and then each, each journal, I added a little, <laughs> a little tiny envelope um, and filled it with really cool old stamps. So you get a bunch of old postage stamps. Some are older than others, like this one's not super old, but there are some, some really nice old stamps in each one. And then it didn't come out, but there's a, oh, there it is. There's an air, I added a vintage airmail label too into each one of those little envelopes. So this will be fun to get back in. Um, but yeah, so that was, that was kind of fun. I wasn't sure what I was going to put in these little envelopes. And then I was like, oh yeah, I just got all those really cool stamps. So, so yeah, so I put some stamps in there and it's in a different spot in each journal, but in this one, it happens to be in that little envelope. Um, some more of the math page, back of the sower bee illustration. This is really cool paper. I love this old writing paper. Um, each, each book has, uh, one page from a really old photo album. So this, it was a small photo album and the pages were a perfect size and it was nice, sturdy black paper. So it folded real nicely. It didn't crack or anything. And then I just, this is the part where it actually was bound into the book. I just folded that over and made that a little pocket. And then I added just a little, um, these are from those packs of pictures that you can get um, when you visit a city or whatever. Um, these are from the 40s. And then just some other, you know, just other little pieces of ephemera and stuff like that kind of sprinkled throughout each journal. Um, some of that really, really nice old music paper that I was just raving about that I got from Renee. Oh, and by the way, you guys, Check out GT Designs. I'll leave a link to her shop in the description. Um, she's putting together some kits right now. Um, it looked, sounded to me like they were going to be all about like sewing and stitching and needlework and stuff. So, and if I know Renee, she's going to make those amazing. So um, definitely go and check out her shop and um, her YouTube channel because she will she will be showing those when they're ready. Um, I, I pulled out all of my, um, bridge score sheets and I tore all the pages out of all of them cause I was tired of having all the covers and stuff anyway. And so I used a bunch of those in these little journals, some of the little tickets that I made in a video a little while ago, uh, just kind of collaged on some, um, uh, what do you call it? <laughs> um, oh my God, I hate when this happens file folder. And, um, and then just made them into those little tickets. Like, like I saw, uh, teal and tattered or tattered and teal. Yeah. Teal, tattered and teal. <laughs> Can't remember. <laughs> um, but anyway, she made these really cool little tickets. And so I, I was inspired by those. And then I did do one page from this certain ledger where I really loved the, the tabs. And so, um, each, each one of these little minis got one of those pages with the tab and that's leather, this little, um, letter on there. And, you know, just the huge, just lots of the huge, um, more bridge score sheets. And I just, I had this thing for these for a little while, um, for, for score sheets and, um, tally cards and just pages from some flower books. This is, a uh, actually printed, um, from a ledger that I scanned. And for some reason, I, I think the printer was running out of ink, but it printed these really pink, super pink. So I don't know. I thought they were cool. I was just trying to see how it would reproduce the, the color from the actual page. Uh, but after I changed the, um, put the new ink in, it printed more accurately <laughs> Anyway, and then I had done this collage a long time ago. Well, not a long, long time ago, but a while ago. Um, and I think I did it on camera, but um, I wound up spraying it with a clear coat. And 
anyway, so I, it's like all this like French ephemera with the little, um, little ration cards and things like that. Anyway, so I punched them out, uh, little tiny circles. And then I just did that on one of the signatures. There's like two pieces glued on the strings. And then I have a whole bunch of just, you know, uh, floral images that I stitched onto some of the printed collage pages that I have in my shop. Um, I just wanted to show you guys, it's really nice to use as a backing on a tag. Um, you know, I mean, coffee dyed paper and avocado paper and stuff is really nice too, but sometimes I think it's nice to have something different. So anyway, but I just wanted to show you, it works really nicely for that. Um, there's one specific one. I think it's vintage paper collage base. And, um, I can leave that in the description also. And then I just had a bunch of like leftover scraps of file folder. So I just cut them into little tags and tickets and things like that. Um, some old grid paper. And there's the other side of that, of that ledger. And then there's another envelope in each journal where these are just made from some of the uh, mushrooms that I have. Well, ah, some of them are collages, but some of them are also the, um, the mushrooms. Anyway, so I didn't do any tabs in these journals. And so I thought you guys might like to have some tabs. So I just added an assortment of different little tabs, you know, like five or six different tabs. So you could put tabs on your journal if you want to. These are just uh, the Tim Holtz tickets. So I just added a couple of those for you. And then some labels that I actually stamped on some of that grunge paper and cut out. So I added some labels for you and then a couple of little, um, these are just some little coffee dyed, uh, price tags with strings, which are kind of not fun to put in the little envelopes anyways. And then I took apart a couple of, uh, photo albums, some really old photo albums. And in the photo album, there was a couple of envelopes full of the little photo corners and then I also took off a lot of photo corners from the pages too. And um, anyway, so I added a bunch of those into each one of these little envelopes for you. So some really old uh, vintage photo corners in each, in each one of these little envelopes. Okay. So it's just like a little collection of stuff that you can use in your journal or whatever, wherever you want to use it. Um, more of that beautiful music paper, some more images that I've printed and just long little skinny little bits, you know, I'm not a journaler, but I think I'm in touch with the types of things that people like to play with, you know, if, if they are into keeping like a, a daily journal or something, they, they enjoy having you guys people that journal. I admire you. It's, it's amazing. You can take just these little bits and, and make them really cool. Um, this is just a page out of that flower, uh, guidebook that I love. And this is one of those divider pages from the vintage, like long ledger. And then this is a page from that same ledger. Some more of the sower bee, uh, book. This is just old um, notebook paper. This is from an old address book. <clears throat> little paper envelope. Um, it's funny. This isn't this. This paper looks like it's really old, but it's. I don't think it is because it has an email address entry right there. So probably from some time in the nineties. Um, and then I did add a bunch of little tuck spots in these with some of those tickets that I had stamped onto um, collage that I did on some other uh, file folder. So these are kind of like thicker um, paper and they're just kind of stiff. And so they're just, they work really nicely to use as tuck spots. Okay. And then just added a little, little piece of paper in there just so you can see that it is a tuck spot. And then this is a page from that old, um, flower like day book it's 
and then it's got the calendar, you know, and then some of the little scraps of circle scraps from the, from when I made the, um, the specimen tags. So those are the centers because I just can't throw them away. They just seem so useful. And then just did a little bit of stenciling on there. I've, I've been asked about these stencils a few times. And what these are, I bought them on Etsy from, I don't remember the shop, but it was the only listing she had for them. And it was just a bunch of, actually, I think she had like split them into lots of 15 or something. Well, I bought all that she had because I was like, oh my God, I love those. But they're these little brass stencils. And <clears throat> what they're for is for numbering pages on like in a, in a ledger book. Just trying to, oh, I must've put them somewhere else. Yeah, I moved them. But I'll show them to you guys one of these days. I have shown them before, but I'll show them to you guys again. Um, anyway, and then I have this beautiful bird book. It's not super, super old, but I love the paper in it. And it just has such beautiful illustrations. Um, it's just a really nice book. And the paper was real sturdy. And anyway, there's another little tuck spot with a tag. And, and whatnot. Um, and then I have some other number stencils that are larger, single numbers. So those fit kind of cool on these circled punches. So I punched out shapes from the cereal box collage and, um, and just stenciled on them, made some tuck spots and stuff with those. Just a little, another little score sheet and some stationery, some nice like cotton rag stationery. This is just plain old cream color copy paper. I think there's like one sheet in here. Um, another little image. Did some stitching and it's back with that collage paper again. Okay, and then this is the envelope, the uh, library pocket envelope thingy, my bob. <laughs> and I am going to get those sent out, you guys. I'm working on that tonight, as a matter of fact. So just so you know, I got a few more requests in emails. I haven't sent you uh, an invoice yet. I saw like three of them today. So I will send you an invoice, but I'll include you in when I'm putting those together. So so don't don't worry. I got you. And sorry that that's taken a while, you guys. It's just that I haven't wanted to, um, you know, ship those out every day. Like I've been wanting to kind of wait and see if I'm going to get you know, 20 or 30 requests and then just do them all at once. So anyways, but I'll get those done tonight and then probably ship them out tomorrow or the next day. So, okay. Anyway, so did these little, um, just folded the, the back over and made it into a nice little, little envelope. And then, um, added a, there's actually a magnet on this side. And then I did a metal washer on this side. So it does, it is thicker. Like it, it's, it's more bulky if you use, you can see it in the image. It's more bulky if you use a metal washer, but it also adds some weight to that. So it, I don't know, I think it, it closes nicely. Um, and then I added a little, another little strip of these tickets uh, from the collage tickets that I made. And I had used a bunch of different like metallic paints and stuff on them. And I just swooshed around with my finger on those to make them so you can see they're perforated and so you can just te tear those off easily and use them wherever you want so yeah okay so lots of stuff um though this is one of those tim holtz tickets um anyway so here's the oh and then and then i did do a little hitch post uh closure on this so Okay, so if this gets super thick on you, if it gets a lot fatter, you might need to replace this elastic, but I think like a regular large um, hair tie would work too if, you know, if you need it to be thicker. So, um, and if you need it to go smaller, then, you know, you can, you could actually work that knot down more and make it a little bit tighter. So, okay, so these are all numbered uh, 1 through 21. This is number six, and I love how this collage just kind of turned out. It's got some French 
paper on there and it says journal right there. And then I wrote numbers on that little tag. Um, I don't know. I just started doing that lately, just writing my own little numbers on things. I you, Do you guys ever feel like that where you hate your own handwriting? I kind of like don't like my own handwriting. So, um, so I haven't, but but then I'm kind of getting over that. So whatever. Um, anyway, and then this one is number five and I love the, this one says moments right there. Maybe I should turn on the autofocus so you can see it's kind of cool moments. <clears throat> um, yeah, that was number five. This one is what number are you? It's on these little tags. This is number eight. Okay. This one has a little, little flower seed. That's actually a clematis. So if you wanted to, those, that's from a clematis that I used to have in a place where I used to live and I saved seeds from it. It's that really, really pretty pink and white clematis where the flowers are gigantic. Anyway, so that's that one. That's number eight. I used to be such a seed saver. I would save seeds from all my perennials and stuff. Um, this actually, this little specimen has a little piece of um, lavender in it. It's like the very top of the lavender flower that I pressed last year. So, And then the label on this one, see there's a little mushroom in the label and just a little bird. So that's number one. And this is number two. Oh, and so these are not, the listings are not active yet. Um, they might be by the time I publish this video. <laughs> but I think what I'll do, it's almost 5 o'clock right now, p.m. Um, my time. So what I'll do is I'll wait and I will publish these at 7. At 7, no. Yeah. Yeah, 7, 7 p.m. So that's like two hours from right now. So hopefully this video won't be too much longer and then I, it'll upload quickly. So I'll give you guys about an hour before I publish the video or publish the listings. So this is number two. So you can actually watch the video and, you know, if, if it's not 7 p.m. That's Pacific time too, by the way. That is Pacific time. I am in Washington State. So... Um, <clears throat> just be aware of that. So that would be like 10 PM Eastern time. So this is number seven, more of the lavender in that one. And this is number, number are you? Number three. Uh, and this one just has some little baby's breath in it. I'm, I'm pressing baby's breath now for sure. Cause I think it looks so cute in these little specimen tags and lots of people make those, you know, I just, I had never done it with pressed flowers before and I could never like figure out or have the patience to fussy cut an image to do it. So I just thought flowers are perfect. Um, anyway, and then this one says charming on the, the little word there, it says charming. And then there's a mushroom. So that's number three. And this is number four. This one has some kind of little yellow flower. I don't know what it is. Surprisingly. <laughs> um, and then the little, the little collage, I wrote some numbers on the tag or the little label. So that's number four. And the rest of these should be in order. Um, this is number nine. And these are little, like, I forget what those flowers are, but my mom has a whole bunch of them in the yard and I'm going to be pressing a ton of those too. And I'm making more flower presses. I'm going to use some of my larger books to make flower presses because I found all my giant bulldog clips or binder clips or whatever. So anyway, that's number nine. I have this whole box full of them and I couldn't find them the other day when I was making that video. So if you guys haven't seen my video on making your own flower press, it's pretty cool. And I mean, I don't know, like I was, I was pretty happy about it. <laughs> pretty happy with it. 
Um, so this is number 10. And I'm just showing you the covers on all of the rest of them, obviously. Um, they're all pretty similar inside, but so this is number 11. This actually has a little amethyst bead on it right there. Number 11, it has a flower seed. It's this really beautiful grass, or excuse me, grass seed. This really beautiful grass that is like the, the, um, the seed head is this really beautiful purple color and it's like really fluffy and it was in a planter downtown in Spokane and I snagged a couple like <laughs> a little of the seed heads off of it one day when I was walking downtown anyways so I've never tried to grow it but I bet it I'll bet it would reproduce so anyway that's number 11 and this is number 12 and this one has a little um, um, lobelia blossom in it. Lobelia print uh, presses really nicely. And then a little tiny Johnny Jump Up uh, pansy in there. And this has some more uh, clematis seed in it. This is number 13. And then the inside the tag, I put a little word that says soul. And I love the butterflies with the flowers on that little stamp. And this one is number, should be 14. Some more of, I think she call. I don't know what she calls that flower. I can't remember. <clears throat> Some kind of like coral bells or something, I think. Anyways. So this is number 14. Number 15. And this one says, focus on what's important. I like that. Number 16. I like this book um, on the paper on here. It says astronomy right there which I thought was pretty cool. Didn't even notice that until I had made the journal already. Uh, number 17. And I stamped a little label stamp around the word butterfly from the dictionary image. <laughs> so clever. No, <laughs> just kidding. Um, this is number 18. And this has the little um, straw flower that I smashed, <laughs> smashed it with my thumb and then got the thing to stick together before it, you know, <clears throat> anyway, this is number 18. And number 19. It's another one of those little flowers that I don't know what it is. Mostly just green. Um, and then this has a little mushroom. It's a puff ball, actually, with uh, the word desire. Another little amethyst bead on this one. Somebody actually made these beads and they put a little topper on it out of like clay. So they're really interesting little like bead charms. But they put the they put a little jump ring in the clay it's really interesting how they did it. I don't know. Anyway, somebody really wanted to use them as like charms or something or hanging beads. And they did, they just made their own little loop at the top out of, out of clay. Kind of cool. Out of Fimo probably. Anyway, so this is number 20. Some more clematis seeds. And I just wrote a little letter M in the label on there. <laughs> I don't know why. Just to be random, the letter M. Um, and then this is number 21. It's got some little faceted beads and see this is this one I wrote 12.7 in the label. <laughs> so yeah. And then another little straw flower and I love the buttons on these. So, okay. So that is all 21 of my May 2020 minis. 
and I will publish the listings at 7 p.m. Pacific time. So get ready. If you have not input all of your payment information and that kind of thing, uh, Nick the Booksmith does a, she does a little kind of blurb about this. Like if you're really trying to get something on Etsy and I'm not, I'm not saying that like, oh, I know you guys are just going to go nuts for these, but if there's one that you want, um, then I recommend definitely having your payment information saved. Go on Etsy, make sure that you ha you're logged into your account and that kind of stuff. And then when you see the one that you want, all you have to do is click buy now and um, it'll take you directly to your shopping cart instead of going through the other pages that you have to hit first. So anyway, just saying, um, yeah, so those are all, all ready to go to new homes. And um, like I said, I will have the uh, envelope packs or the, excuse me, the library pocket packs put together tonight. Okay. All right, guys. Love you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all your support. Bye for now.